Shower sounds. Today I'm going to be cooking for you slow roast salmon with sweet honey mustard sauce, coriander mash, and broccoli. So we have here we have white potatoes for the mash with uh, single cream which is going into the mash along with some milk, some butter. We have broccoli, we have coriander, not forgetting the salmon. And for the sauce, we have Dijon mustard, we have whole grain mustard. We have honey and some black pepper along with some olive oil. Okay, we want to peel these potatoes, uh, put them into boiling water with uh, salted boiling water. Now the cooking time is important. You'll hear most chefs telling you to cook things for approximately 10 minutes. It's not, it's not good enough. You really need to boil potatoes for at least 22 minutes. Uh, otherwise they'll just be the, con the construction of them won't be right. Uh, you want to cut the bottom of the stem off here with this, the, the bit that's been lying to the air. Get rid of that and now you've got a nice fresh piece. Now when I take my broccoli, if you notice the broccoli, it's like little plants of its own, it's little stems, they're all lined up. Just take your paring knife and just follow down these lines, like so and just pull, it come away quite easily. Just go round the, the whole of the broccoli in the same way. We don't want to just use the florets for this dish, we want to use the whole lot. So as you just follow round, follow the lines, the natural lines of the broccoli, pull, quite easy to pull off, and uh, that's complete, we'll just complete that now. As you see, most of it's been taken off with the stem. But when you get to the centerpiece, you'll find, if you go around taking these off, they're, they're quite small, so you wouldn't do that. What I normally do is when I get the centerpiece, I straighten it off again. So we're left with a nice stem there, slightly down, not to the floor it, and then just peel apart. And it comes away easily without causing mess. Salted water boiling, the pan's boiling away nicely on the stove. We're just going to add our potatoes. We just drop them into the boiling water. Now, you may have to wait on the water reboiling because the temperature can drop with the cold potatoes going in. Once it's reboiled, it's important that you cook it for at least 22 minutes, but you'll test it just before you take it out. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, and now we're going to make the honey mustard sauce. And for this, the ingredients you will need is extra virgin olive oil, some squeezy honey, some Dijon mustard, some whole grain mustard, and some ground black pepper. Now the quantities are easy to remember because it's basically four honey, two Dijon, one whole grain, and half of black pepper. So basically you're going down the ingredients and halving as you go along. So it makes it simple. Right, we'll just add in the honey at the moment. We'll go, we want four of these. So we just go one, two, three, there's four teaspoons of runny honey. And we want two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. So there's one, two, and we want one whole grain mustard. Just like so. And then you will add a tablespoon of virgin oil. This will be your carrier. Okay, it will combine well. It will take a couple of seconds, but it will come together nicely like so. Okay, and there you have it. Your honey mustard sauce. 
absolutely delicious the salmon. Uh, these have been boiling now for 22 minutes. Now I'll just turn off the gas on because I'm going to test them. To test them, if you take the back of your knife, the heel of the knife, against one of the potatoes on the side of the pan, just push it through. If it goes through quite easily without resistance, then you know the potatoes are okay. And uh, that's how you want them. If it has a lot of resistance, give it a couple of more minutes and then try again. But these are okay at the moment. Let these drain off. Okay. I'm just going to leave them there for a minute just to drain off. Now we're going back to the stove. I've emptied the water from there. We're going to take about a teaspoon of butter, put it in. Get some milk, fresh milk. Don't put too much milk in. You can always add a bit more milk later. We're going to put a splash of cream. There's only single cream. I also, at this point, I will be adding in the seasoning. So I'm adding my pepper. Whip until that uh, butter is completely melted. Then I'm going to put my potatoes through my potato ricer. Potatoes through the potato ricer. So as many in there as you can possibly get. Turn this down slightly. Okay. If you don't have a potato ricer, it's money well spent. If you eat mashed potatoes a lot, you really can't do without one. The potatoes go through the ricer, they come out without any lumps whatsoever. And it's very easy to use. You're guaranteed, guaranteed to have lump free potatoes. I take my balloon whisk. And just mix it through. I'm going to add slightly bit more milk to the mixture. As I said before, you can always add more. Okay. okay, and now you've got your mash together. You want to add your roughly chopped coriander. Just flick it in here. Just pull it all in. We'll push it all in. Uh, you don't want to use your whisk to mix it together. You'll end up with coriander all over the, the whisk and none in the uh, actual potato. So take a wooden spoon and just incorporate your mash and your coriander. Okay. Now this will soften with the heat of the potatoes so you don't really need it on the gas. This is a last second preparation. That smells delicious as well. Okay, and that's how you do your coriander mash. To prepare the salmon, we have a nice uh, salmon steak here, not too big, not too small. Now I've preheated the pan and I'm placing the oil into the hot pan. Don't do it the other way around, don't uh, heat the oil up in that cold pan. Put the oil into a hot pan to start with. Right. That's looking good. Now we take we'll take the steak of salmon and we want to place it flesh side down. Okay, you hear that lovely sizzle. Now we're going to leave that for one minute, no longer than a minute. Okay, we've already preheated the oven to gas mark four, which will be transferring the pot to now. Now that's had a minute. So we're just going to take the piece of salmon, put it on the skin side down, and to transfer it to the oven. And we're going to leave it in the oven for approximately 10 minutes. I'm going to do the broccoli. I'm using this high sided pan. Uh, it's very salty water, this. there's plenty of salt in this water. Uh, don't be scared to put too much in it. We really need it for the broccoli. If you notice the broccoli, the colour is a sort of a 
insipid green at the moment and when you put it into the salt water it will turn to a, a bright emerald green so it turns colour automatically now we're, we're putting these in here we're going to let that water stop boiling at the moment we're going to let the water come back to the boil and we're going to basically simmer it for three minutes I wouldn't simmer it for any longer than three minutes three minutes is just the ideal period of time for this the salmon's had ten minutes uh, so we just take it out of the oven now what you want to do with the salmon is you want to press it and make sure it's firm but still springy you don't want to overcook, now that's, that's perfect, it's seared on the outside but the inside is still lovely and springy so we'll take this salmon, we'll plate it up ok add our coriander mash two spoonfuls because it's lovely ok and now the broccoli Just construct this. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to drizzle over with honey mustard sauce. Take a spoonful, just drizzle some on top, spin it down, and if you want to be really chefy, just drizzle around. Okay, there you have it. You have slow roast salmon, coriander mash and broccoli. If you've enjoyed these recipes you've seen today, please subscribe to our channel for more delicious ideas and we'd love to hear your comments. Thank you.